Imagine you wake up one day and you're the richest person in the whole world. You just bought Twitter and now you have set your eyes on TikTok and Coca-Cola. Well, this is the case with the actual richest man in the world, multi-billionaire Elon Musk. Join us as we unravel the next big thing he plans on buying. Elon Musk has persuaded Twitter to agree to his buyout offer, making the world's wealthiest man who also owns the most valuable automotive company the CEO of one of the most powerful social media platforms. Twitter's $44 billion acquisition is expected to be the largest takeover bid in at least two decades. But while we now know that Twitter has a new king on its throne, there are still many outstanding uncertainties regarding what will happen next. Musk said he wants to eradicate spammers while encouraging free expression. He'll have more freedom to operate away from the criticism of public shareholders, but his long-term plan remains a mystery to all of us. While Musk did state that his immediate plans for the company included enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. He has Tesla to help him advance electric autonomous vehicles, or EAVs, and renewable energy solutions. SpaceX exists to offer humanity a chance to become a multi-planetary species. He's collaborating with the Boring Company to change transportation and develop better tunnels. He's working with OpenAI to contribute to the ethical development of artificial intelligence, or AI. He's also set up Neuralink to boost the human brain's capacities. Finally, he purchased Twitter as his most recent asset because he believed it had the capacity to achieve so much more and encourage free expression. With so many diverse aims that Musk has throughout his variety of firms, it's easy to get lost, so let's make a list. Here is what Musk wants to accomplish by 2030. Elon Musk has several additional projects that don't have a set timeline or haven't been made public yet. On top of that, Musk concluded that the Hyperloop would be something that either Tesla or SpaceX would be more engaged with. The Neuralink, Musk's attempt to integrate the human brain with AI, is another project that is still in its early phases of development. Moreover, Musk plans on sending the first crewed mission to the Red Planet in two years. Seeing these goals could explain why Musk has suddenly set his eyes on different social media platforms. With more than 85 million followers on Twitter and approximately 3 million followers on Instagram, Elon is an active user on different platforms of social media. Musk is a frequent Twitter user. With such a huge following, he posts memes, news about his electric car firm, Tesla, and like other Twitter users, snappy comments on his day-to-day -day life. He has been on Twitter since 2009 and has been mentioning about buying the platform since 2017. He's also been a prominent critic of Twitter, pushing for reforms such as reversing content restrictions and stressing free expression as a societal necessity. As it turns out, $44 billion is a large number that could help solve a lot of different problems. One such problem is world hunger. There are several institutional issues ailing the world that $43 billion may help to solve. For example, the United Nations World Food Program revealed a strategy in which Elon could help 42 million people experiencing starvation. By providing one meal per person every day for a year following one of his tweets. That proposal came at a cost of $6.6 .6 billion. In conclusion, $43 billion might theoretically go a long way. In November, Elon Musk did make a $5.7 billion donation to charity. A fun fact, Musk's fortune might enable him to acquire every major professional sports team in the United States and Canada. Namely, Major League Baseball, MLS, the National Basketball Association, NBA, the National Football League, NFL, and the National Hockey League, NHL. According to reports, the combined worth of those four largest sports leagues is $260 billion. Musk would still be left with about $75 billion. In a tweet on Saturday, Elon Musk stated that he is considering creating a new social media site. He didn't go into detail about how or what the hypothetical social media site would look like. After alleging that Twitter did not allow for free expression, the Tesla and SpaceX entrepreneur commented, Given that Twitter serves as the de facto public town square, failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy, Musk tweeted on Friday. How should we proceed? 
He then inquired about the necessity for a new platform. Here are the areas Musk is supposedly considering right now, and to be explicit, Musk has made these ideas without having any internal knowledge of the firm or its present structure. Increasing Memberships Musk is rumored to be working on turning Twitter Blue into a registration layer, with users paying a monthly fee, in exchange for a verification tick that verifies they're a genuine person. This could make it easier for Twitter to combat bots, because running bot farms would be prohibitively expensive, while also ensuring a level of transparency in the app because you'd know you're interacting with a real person who has registered their contact and payment information in the app, based on these new forms of authentication tags. The economics might be problematic. If Musk charged $1 per month for this, he'd make $229 million per month or $2.7 billion per year assuming the current number of active users stays the same and isn't just bots. If this were the only method Twitter could generate money in the future, you'd have to anticipate that a large number won't pay, bringing the total down dramatically and drastically reducing Twitter's income intake. In 2021, Twitter generated $5.08 billion in revenue. Though it would be a very radical move, Musk could make all Twitter users pay, or else they would simply not be able to use the app. One would think initially that no one would pay, right? People can use other platforms such as Facebook or Snapchat. But if we look closely, Twitter is a critical platform for many journalists, political, and other media types that use tweets to stay up with the latest news. Which is why it is so influential. No more commercials. From a social media marketing standpoint, this would undoubtedly have the largest impact. Musk has stated that Twitter should no longer run ads at all to be fully autonomous. That means Twitter would have to rely on other kinds of money, and with advertisements accounting for 98% of its revenue, that's a significant vacuum to fill. Part of Musk's thinking here may be that Twitter can save money by eliminating all of its ad-related staff, which could be a significant cost-cutting measure. But even so, Musk will have a significant shortfall to make up if he wants to get close to making Twitter profitable when operating expenses versus revenue. It is indeed difficult to see how it is possible to bridge such a big gap, but maybe Elon Musk has something big up his sleeve of which we don't know anything. Now comes the moment you have been waiting for. Elon Musk has bought TikTok. Well, there have been many rumors and jokes online about Elon buying TikTok and then deleting it. Yet, there is no confirmation on the fact that he has definitely bought the said app. Although one in every six individuals in the United States now uses TikTok every week, even though the company has been chastised by the present government and has just announced a technological partnership with Oracle, that isn't exactly the sale that President Trump requested. According to mobile analytics firm App Annie, the popular mobile app reached 53.5 million weekly average users in the United States in the first week of September. That's a 75% increase since the beginning of the year. It also has 33 times the number of users as its next direct competition. According to an App Annie spokesperson, TikTok was the number one top grossing app on the iOS App Store internationally in the second quarter of 2020 profiting from people resorting to mobile apps amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Buying the app would prove to be highly beneficial for Musk as it would generate even higher profits than Twitter. That's all we have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and for more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.